Dear friends, welcome to Infos. In this video, we are discussing about uh, pipe uh, valves and uh, uh, pipe joints. The first part uh, we have already finished uh, in a previous video. In this video, we are discussing about uh, uh, construction of uh, uh, pipe, pipe, pipe and pipe material. So, welcome to this video, pipe construction. One of the common used method is uh, electric resistance uh, welding, ERW in short form it is knowing. Electric resistance welding pipe is uh, manufactured by rolling metal and then welding it uh, longitudinally across its length. The weld zone can also be heat treated, so the seam is less visible. So this is the simple uh, pictorial representation of uh, uh, electric resistance welding process for uh, pipe manufacture. <clears throat> Welded pipe often has uh, tighter dimensional tolerances than seamless and can be cheaper if manufactured in large quantities. This can be manufactured up to 24 percentage, 20, uh, sorry, 24 inch OD in a variety of length to over 100 feet, uh, 100 feet. So, some uh, pictorial representation also included in this one, electric resistance welding. It is mainly used for uh, low and medium pressure application such as uh, transportation of uh, water and oil. Another uh, other welding technique of uh, pipe fabrication is uh, fusion weld sometimes called continuous weld or spiral weld pipe. So, the basic difference between electric resistance welding and fusion welding, uh, no material is added during welding process in electric resistance welding. Filler material is added during welding process in uh, fusion welding. Larger diameter pipe about 10 inch or greater may be in uh, electric resistance welding or submerged arc or SIW pipe. <clears throat> Another method is uh, submerged arc welded SIW in short form. This is the pictorial representation of uh, manufacturing technique using uh, submerged arc welded. Let us see how it is. Submerged arc welding SIW is an arc welding process where an arc is established between one or two more continuous bare solid or core metal electrodes and the work. The welding arc or arcs and molten puddle are shielded by a blanket of granular or fusible material. <coughs> this is the picture of a submerged arc welded pipe. Filler material is obtained from the electrodes and on occasion from a supplementary welding wire. Another important method is seamless SMLS. This is the seamless uh, pipe uh, arranged in a rack. Seamless pipe manufactured by piercing a billet followed by rolling or drawing or both to the desired length. Therefore, a seamless pipe does not have a welded joint in its cross section. That is the important difference between the electric wire welding method. <clears throat> seamless pipe is finished to dimensional and wall thickness specification in sizes from 1 by 8 inch to 26 inch OD. Seamless pipe is produced in single and double random length. Single random length vary from 16 inch to 20 inch long, uh, sorry 20 feet long. Pipes that are uh, 2 inch and below are found double random length measuring 30 feet to 40 feet long. Seamless pipe generally more expensive to manufacture but provides high pressure rating. These are the pictures of the from the uh, manufacturing process, seamless uh, pipe construction. <clears throat> Important information to share you here, 
pressure piping code B31 was written to govern the manufacturing process. Actually, the code and standards we are discussing in our uh, uh, coming slides, uh, not in this slide, next video, in, in detailed uh, uh, discussion we are planning. In particular, code B31.1.0 assigns the a strength factor of 85 percentage for a roller a rolled pipe and 60 percentage for a spiral welded and 100 percent efficiency for a seamless pipe. Generally, wider wall thickness thicknesses are produced by the seamless method. Seamless pipe is usually preferred over seam welded pipe for reliability and safety. Seamless pipe cannot be substituted for others. Only electric resistance welding and other SAW seamless pipe can be substituted. Seam welded pipe should not be specified for installation in which it will be operating in the materials creep range 700 Fahrenheit to carbon or low alloy steel and from 800 Fahrenheit to for high alloy and stainless steel. However, for many low pressure uses of pipe, the continuous welded method is most economical. <clears throat> How to identify seamless or electric resistance stainless steel pipe from the visibility? To identify that a pipe, is, pipe supply is seamless or ARW, simply read the stencil on the side of the pipe. If it is ASTM A53, so that type S means seamless, it is here and type F means it is furnace but uh, uh, welded, type E means electrical resistance welded. So if you get a chance to visit your uh, piping yard or the field installed pipeline uh, area, so just to visit that one, uh, understand it, identify or differentiate what type of construction is using for manufacturing of this pipe. That is how it is easiest way to identify whether pipe is a seamless or ERW. Recommended guidelines, uh, all pipelines carrying toxic inflammable fluids shall be seamless. So this, this is very important. All pipeline carrying toxic inflammable fluids shall be seamless. Utility piping can be ERW. Utility means uh, water, mainly water. Uh, like uh, desalinated water or process water or effluent water like that uh, utility piping can be ERW or seam welded. Steam pipe line shall be preferably seamless. Uh, it is high pressure and high temperature. So it is using uh, uh, seamless pipe. So these are the general recommendation. Another uh, important information is a pipe procurement. Standard size is already given. I am not going to explain that one here. So, standard length, these are the standard sizes available standing from NPS 1 by 8 to around 60 standard sizes there. And standard length is uh, pipe is supplied in random length 18 to 25 feet or double random length is uh, 38 to 48 feet. <clears throat> End preparation also important in the pipe construction. Steel pipe can be generally be specified with a specific end preparation at the time of purchase. Three end preparation are standard. One is a plain end looking like this one. This is the picture. PE. A plain end pipe is a pipe that has been cut at 90 degree perpendicular to the pipe run. This type, the type of end is needed when be when, join, when being joined by a mechanical coupling or socket or weld fittings or slip or flange. Another important one is the bevel end. A bevel is a surface that is not at a right angle or perpendicular to another surface. The standard angle of a pipe is bevel is around 37.5 degree but other non-standard angles can be produced. Beveling of pipe or tubing is to prepare the end for butt welding. See, this is the bevel end. So, just to identify that one, the plain end and the bevel end. One more is there. It is coming here and threaded end. See, 
it is we maybe most of us may be seen this uh, threaded end in our uh, house uh, plumbing application uh, small small uh, plastic pipes this threaded application typically used on pipe 3 inch and smaller threaded connections are referred to as a screwed pipe with tapered grooves cut into the ends of a run of a pipe screwed pipe and screwed fittings can be easily be assembled without welding or other permanent means of attachment so various type of joints we are using connection of two pipes in us standard pipe thread is a national pipe thread thread uh, the reason for this is npt connections are assembled they become increasingly more difficult for the process to leak the standard tapper for NPT pipe is a 3 by 4 inch for every foot. Common abbreviation is available. Common abbreviations for the type of the pipe end as followed. Bevel end, bevel both end, bevel large end, etc, etc. Threaded end. So end pipe is end pipe, end of pipe, plunge one end, plain end, plain both end. Like in threaded case, threaded end, thread both end thread large and etc etc are available the main aim of uh, piping design that is another uh, section we have to cover the main aim of the piping design is to configure and lay equipment piping and other accessories meeting relevant standards and statutory regulation the piping design and uh, engineering involves six major steps let us see one by one one is a selection of pipe material on the basis of characteristics of the fluid and operating conditions including maximum pressure and temperatures number two finding economical pipe diameter and wall thickness three selection of joint fittings and components such as flanges branch connection extruded trees nozzle branches etc developing piping layout and isometrics five Performing stress analysis taking to account the potential upset condition and an allowance for those upset condition in the design of piping system. Six is estimating material takeoff and raising material requisition. So these are the six major uh, engineering involves, uh, major steps involves in piping design. Definitely one by one. Uh, we will analyze and understand in our coming uh, slides and videos. Thanks for watching this video. This is a short video because one section is finished. So next video we are start, starting pipe standards and codes and other detailed design parameter. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.